Hello, my liberal friend and colleague Bill Wilgren. Great column in the Gazette today, as usual. Hi, my chubby friend Wayne Lorgerson. What will you advocate today, in the name of free markets? The starvation of women and children, I suppose. Very funny. I do not like some aspects of the health care plan. People who criticize Obama don't like him because he is black. The first African American president. I am not calling you a racist, but most Obama critics are, indeed, racists. I don't know about that. I think most opponents don't like his policies. Lots of them would vote for someone who was black and conservative. So, I hear what you are saying. You are claiming that racism is dead in America. No, not at all. That's what you just now said. I heard it. You said racism is dead. You said it, you said it, you said it. No, Bill. I just, I said policy differences are the reason. Everyone, listen up. Wayne Lorgerson says we've overcome racism. Do you know how that must feel to victims of racism? People who have suffered. I did not discount racism. I said lots of people oppose this president for reasons that have nothing to do with race. I said policy, you know I did not deny racism. Barry Nordin is standing right there. He heard you say that racism is dead in America. You criticized the first black president for no good reason. But wait. Please. This discussion is a quagmire. I don't view our president in terms of race. This is about mandates, rationing, costs, access, economic principle. Tell it to someone who has been lynched by the Klan. You declared that racism is dead in America. You are not sensitive. You know what I said. Forget it, Wayne. You said it. You are done criticizing President Obama. He is the finest man to ever hold office. This conversation is over.